So if you if you see a trailer running down the road now and it's carrying logs, uh, chances are fairly strong it's a Peerless trailer. Leading the market in supplying trailers since 1944, Peerless has been a staple in manufacturing in Penticton. With over 75 years of experience, the company now supplies to the forestry, oil field, and construction sectors in multiple countries. Really that was our, our start, is, is the heavy duty units designed for packing big loads in, in extreme conditions. And from there we grew and grew and added different product lines, so oil and gas, uh, construction, mining, uh, wind energy, drilling and well servicing, and really expanded the product offering, but uh, very regional uh, based for Western Canada and, and in the U.S. So we are number one in, in forestry in Western Canada. Uh, we're owned by Manac, uh, which is a uh, Canada's largest trailer company, and they're based out of Quebec. Peerless's production facility is located on 10 acres with an 85,000 square foot facility and over 80 employees. We've been on this site in 10 acres here in Penticton in the industrial park since 1973. So almost 50 years now we've been on the same location. Uh, back when there was really not a lot of industry in Penticton, it was rolling hills here. So uh, we, we've anchored here and uh, really everything is, is out of here. So our, our engineering and supply chain and, and manufacturing, it's all in this one location. You know, we've been here a lot, a lot of years. We have a good reputation. Uh, people that are here like to stay here. Our, you know, when you go and see our staff in the, in the shop, you, you find a lot of guys that are 35 years plus. Uh, 30 years plus so it's a company that people like to work for and uh, and like to work with so we've got a great team uh, and yeah we're just looking at uh, how we can manage our, our recovery from COVID. While the pandemic was a tough time for the company they're seeing opportunity begin again. Uh, the pandemic was definitely a, a struggle. Um, everybody was was reluctant to buy large pieces of equipment not knowing what the future held uh, and our markets all got softer. Oil and gas came down forestry came down uh, since then so we had a slowdown last year for sure we closed our plant for a couple of months while we built up a backlog and we prepared for it and then we we opened up slowly in August and now with all the protocols in place our markets have recovered so we've had uh, forestry come back very strong softwood lumber prices as you know are, are, are at record highs uh, we've had uh, you know some some construction projects pick up some even some oil and gas projects starting to, to rebound with with uh, West Texas oil coming back and over over the years I've learned that this business is successful, uh, satisfying customers, being uh, excellent at customer support. So understanding and listening to customers and trying to, be, trying to be a leader. So we design our products to be the smart ones at the trade shows and the ones that people are, are anxious to own, uh, having a strong brand. With a, with a brand that's almost 80 years old, there's, a, there's third generation, fourth, gen, fourth generation customers we have and uh, they rely on our product and, and uh, we sell parts uh, that are to 1960 year uh, era trailers. So they, they last, they have great longevity, they have great resale value. So what we've learned is to build a top premium quality product and service the market really well. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.